In the next 10 minutes, you're gonna discover step-by-step step what you wanna do in order to create a profitable YouTube channel, and we're getting started in just seconds. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G, and to amplify your income, subscribe, and to really leverage the power of YouTube, Check out my free 40-minute YouTube masterclass, link in the description. Follow this method and I guarantee you're gonna see tremendous results on your YouTube channel. In fact, this is the exact system that I use to increase my views by 439% on a brand new channel. That's Brian G. Johnson TV, my primary channel. And even better, the channel now generates job-ending income and it's the same very method that Daniel Battelle, one-time coaching client, leveraged to quit his day job, and now he's full-time on YouTube. Now it's your turn. Step number one, when you're serious about making money online, you don't do anything until you know that it's possible to generate that money. What do you do? You've gotta qualify and you really wanna think through all the different avenues that you can make money. Number one is YouTube monetization. So number one of step one, YouTube monetization is where we're gonna start. It's the thing you want. There's nothing like making a thousand, two thousand, five thousand dollars a month because you simply uploaded a video. No selling, no trying to build complicated funnels. You wanna get monetized in the steps you take and in which order will make that happen. Keep watching. Number two is affiliate marketing. When it comes to the money, you want to ensure that people in the space you're thinking about are making serious affiliate income, and here's why. You don't have to have a lot of technical skills and abilities to make money with affiliate marketing. If you choose the right niche, which is this whole first step is about that. So you want to make sure that there are other marketers in the niche you're thinking about that are making money with affiliate marketing. Number three, depending on your niche, you may want to create your own merchandise and so on. Merchandise is something I would focus less on, especially if you're going to focus on how-to information, which I've talked about many, many times here on this channel. In fact, as we move forward, we're going to get more into depth with that and really how to select videos and how to create a channel. Again, this is the step-by-step, -step, but just know that merchandise may be something you want to think about. And as we get to step three, we'll talk about qualifying every uh, revenue option you may want to implement. The next revenue source is brand deals and so many YouTubers make life-changing income with brand deals. So one of the things to think about, a word to think about is entertain. You simply want to entertain different ways in which you can make money and then you want to facilitate a plan of action that you can implement to move forward and crush it. And lastly is digital product sales. This is how to courses, this is online coaching, this is maybe ebooks. So this is a physical book, but you can buy it in ebook form. And yes, writing takes a bit of time and effort, but fact of the matter is, there are a number of ways that literally in a weekend, you can have an ebook that puts you in a position of power where someone can buy something for 10 bucks and you earn seven. And not only that, but you can mention it in YouTube videos. So you're building awareness for the product you have. And furthermore, you can optimize it for Amazon Kindle sales. And that is just another revenue stream that you can, again, entertain. Step number two, how to make life-changing money with YouTube monetization alone. And I'd love to know, what does that mean to you? How much would you need to earn per month in order to feel like, wow, this is gonna change my life? Would $500 give you that feeling? Would it be $5,000? What's life-changing income for you? Leave me a comment, I'd love to know. You see, without question, YouTube today, YouTube monetization is incredibly powerful and it's not just about the ads, although that's the bread and butter of how so many people make great money. You can live stream 
when you're monetized and at that point people can tip you. This is really great in the how-to space. And the reason why is simple because there are people that want their questions answered and they're willing to spend money to move forward, to make better decisions, to get uh, information from those people they respect and so on. And as you move forward and focus on one how-to niche, you will become an expert over time. Let me just throw this in there in here in this video right now don't get hung up with like i'm not an expert i can't do how to you don't have to be you just have to be somebody that has some experience maybe a little bit more experience than someone else oh and once you're monetized you can also get membership membership is the greatest way to have your own membership site without having to build the funnel and I believe there's different tiers now and whatnot. And I really don't focus on membership because I focus on my own YouTube training course. But membership is so powerful because it's reoccurring income. Imagine if you had 500 people give you $5 every month. Is that possible? Is it possible for you to get 500 people to give you $5 a month? That's literally less money than Starbucks for two people. Yes, it's totally possible. Again, especially when we're gonna use the step-by-step -step process that I'm breaking down. Now this sounds great, but you do have to get monetized and YouTube has to approve your channel. And that's again why it really makes sense to look at all these things before you jump in, before you launch a channel. I can't tell you how many people are like, Brian, how do I make, cha how do I make money with this like zombie thing website YouTube channel? You wanna ask that question before you start, before you launch the channel. So in order to get monetized, you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours. And you know what? So many people struggle with that, but so many people don't implement what I'm sharing in this step-by-step -step guide. If you follow these details, you're gonna have a far easier time getting monetized, driving far more watch hours, and getting subscribers to come back, getting people to subscribe, it all works because it's thought out and it's what I do, it's how I'm building this channel and how I built the last channel and so on. In fact, in step four, I'm gonna break down why this strategy works, but first let's talk about step three. We've gotta qualify. So now what I want you to think about is think about one particular niche and what you wanna do is, for example, I mentioned affiliate sales. What you wanna do is you wanna identify the top five or the top 10 YouTube channels that are already in the niche you're uh, thinking about operating and you wanna study their actions. You wanna study their YouTube description. Are they linking out to products? Do they look like affiliate links? Are they linking to Amazon.com? Or maybe they have their own courses for sale and so on. The more you identify and qualify a niche, the more you understand how other people that are operating in the niche you're thinking about are making money, the easier it is to make really great decisions because you're not trying to be a pioneer. A lot of people think you wanna be first. You wanna find the mystery niche that nobody knows about where there's so much money. No. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to find a model that's proven. You want to find a niche that is proven to make money and then you want to get in there and you want to mix it up. So the more you understand a niche and the players that are dominating that niche, the easier it is to make really great decisions. Pay attention to those videos, listen to what they say. Is it a brand deal? Oh, I've partnered with this company and I love this product. Then you know, hey, there are brand deals happening in this niche. If you do notice those affiliate links and you know a YouTuber is doing well, it's really easy to duplicate their actions. This is called modeling and successful people do this all the time. Oh, and you also wanna be really careful on who you take advice from. If someone doesn't have the results that you're after, be cautious about honoring their tips and their advice. If they haven't done the thing they're recommending you do, but stay away. Step number four, this is where it's gonna all come together because at this point, all, all we've really done is research. In fact, of the matter is I like to think of research as the art of never really getting started. And sadly for a lot of people, 
that's kind of where they end up. In step four, we're gonna remedy that. So what you wanna do is you've gone ahead and you've thought about maybe health and weight loss, and you've identified that people are making money with monetization, they're making money with affiliate uh, products and sales, some, some marketers have their own courses. There are a lot of different avenues that you can go when it comes to making that money. Now what you wanna do is you wanna ensure that you're really creating a channel for that audience that you wanna obtain. I can't tell you how important this is. And furthermore, when you really follow what I'm gonna break down, you're gonna get more views per viewer. Think about this. If someone comes to a channel and they're interested in uh, losing body fat, and the channel has 50 videos all covering that one topic and really talking about different things, what to eat, how to exercise, why rest is important when it comes to fat loss. We really wanna go deep. You wanna dive deep and cover one niche in a multitude of angles. The more varied your content, the less likely viewers to your channel are gonna understand the value of the channel. Have you been to these channels? They don't stand out. What you wanna do is you wanna become memorable. Uh, Steve Jobs once really talked about what we have to do at Apple is we have to be memorable. We have to stand out. It's a noisy world and we're not gonna get people to remember much about us. So we need to be really clear. And that's the thing you wanna do. You wanna be really clear on what your channel is about. If you're about health and weight loss, health and fitness, then your channel art should reflect that. It's not about movies, it's not about vlogging, and health and fitness, and I like to game, it's about one thing. If you don't do this, Nobody visiting your channel is going to take you as an important resource. However, if you do just one thing and you do it really well, you send a huge signal to that viewer coming to your channel for the first time. Think about that, right? They come to your channel and they click and they watch. For example, when I launched my first channel, I started with iMovie and I released about 12 videos on iMovie video editing and what would happen is my video started showing up in my suggested sidebar. So someone would click on uh, iMovie effects, they would watch that video, and they would click on another video, maybe um, the Ken Burns effect, or how to do picture in picture in iMovie. And they wouldn't watch one video, they would watch three. And this is how you're gonna compound your watch time. This is how you're gonna get monetized so much faster because viewers aren't gonna watch one, they're gonna watch two or three videos compounding your watch time, compounding the likelihood they will subscribe, and that's what you wanna do. And here's how you're gonna wanna do it. What you're gonna wanna do is think about one two-word phrase that really describes the niche you wanna enter. So I just mentioned, iMovie. So I'm literally gonna pull this up on YouTube. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for iMovie tutorial, and then I'm gonna go through what I call the alphabet method. This is something I teach in my coaching program. It's highly effective, and it allows you to really identify a tremendous amount of topics all focused around one particular thing. So I put in uh, iMovie tutorial A, and I see iMovie tutorial advanced, iMovie tutorial audio editing, iMovie tutorial adding a logo, and so on. And now I can come back, I can add um, a B, and I see iMovie tutorial beginner. So that could be one video, right? I could create one in-depth video for iMovie tutorial for beginners, and I'm really targeting that search phrase. And then obviously you wanna move forward, you wanna start publishing videos on those keyword phrases. Each keyword phrase becomes its own video. Now I'm not saying you should publish 200 videos covering iMovie or fat loss. What I am saying is by taking the time to really look at all the different search terms people are searching for, you're gonna start understanding the audience better. You're gonna get ideas for videos you didn't have until you saw the keyword phrase 
that sparked your imagination. Okay, here's what's up. Step five, and this is how I'm going to guarantee it works for you. If you do this, I guarantee you're going to see some exciting results. I want you to publish 50 videos from that one list of keywords. You've got a list of 100, 200 keyword phrases. Now publish 50 videos over three to six months. Is it possible without a question? Is it effective? It's so effective you can't even imagine. Here's why. When you commit to publishing something like 50 videos, you won't think about quitting until you get to 20. If you think about 10 videos, by the time you get to five, your mind's gonna start asking questions like, shouldn't we ensure this is gonna work? It seems like we're working really hard. How do we know this makes sense? Don't play yourself in that manner. First off, know this. Statistically speaking, if you do what I share, if you make 50 videos, you're gonna be far more likely to succeed. Number two, the YouTube algorithm rewards videos slowly over time, especially for new channels. New channels have to build up their authority, have to build up a subscriber base, and that's why so often you see videos blowing up three months, six months later. So the videos you publish in your first week or two, you might think are a failure until on month four, they blow up. Wouldn't it be sad if you gave up before you published some of the videos that I guarantee will blow up? It always works when you commit to something like 50 videos. And again, step five is all about reminding yourself why this works. We're building smart. We're building for an audience. And when it's tough, when you're struggling, you can say, hey, look, I'm leveraging a system that Brian talked about that so many YouTubers use. I can look at all the big channels and so many of those big channels, they focus on the same core topics again and again, but they go deep. That's what I'm doing. I can rely on that myself. And furthermore, I talked about more views per viewer. When you continue to publish on the same topic, you're only gonna increase the odds of viewers watching multiple videos. You wanna do that. Oh, and another reason this works so very well is in order to really succeed, you don't need subscribers. The fact of the matter is that's kind of the first phase of success. You start getting subscribers. You've got to have them click and watch another video. If they don't click and watch multiple videos, it really doesn't work out. You don't just need subscribers. You need active subscribers. This system will allow you to do that because people will be uh, subscribing and then you'll be publishing the very videos they subscribed for. That's smart. Step number six is to focus on what's most important. By far, when you're getting started, nothing is more important than building an audience. If you wanna make a lot of money as an affiliate, you know what you need? You need an audience. You need videos that are viewed thousands of times. That seems hard and challenging, so what a lot of people do is nothing. And you know what happens? Nothing, nothing happens at all, it's very sad. Instead, if you tell yourself, hey, I'm not gonna get hung up on driving a crazy amount of sales because I'm brand new, I'm gonna focus on the audience, the only thing I'm gonna try to do is publish a video that they enjoy. My goal is to publish videos the audience values. And when you do that, you're gonna get those subscribers and those views, it's easier to get monetized and so on. So step six is to constantly remind yourself you're building and you're creating videos for the audience you want. Why this is, is so important is because so many people put what they wanna create in front of what the audience wants to watch. I've seen it again and again and again. I just saw two channels on autism. One is really a day in the life, autism, and they struggle. And the other is really specific topics that are based on the keyword phrases that people are searching for, that the audience is searching for. So put the audience first and you'll go far. And the fact of the matter is, there are topics that you're excited about. And there are topics that an audience wants to watch. And there's crossover in the middle. Find that crossover, that's your niche. Uh, qualify the niche and you make the videos that the audience wants to watch, 
and you want to make. Like this channel for me, I love talking about this stuff. It's fun, it's exciting. Example, I've made lots of money selling Halloween costumes. I chose Halloween because I have a love for uh, scary movies. I did back in the day, not so much anymore. But when I was younger, I loved that stuff. And Halloween seemed like a fun product to write about and create content about. And I made lots of money in the process. You can do the same. Step number seven is commit to what seems ridiculous. When you get started and you implement this kind of strategy, it may seem absolutely ridiculous. Like I'm not gaining anything out of it and I guarantee you will be. Anytime you think you're not gaining something out of spending your time creating content, tell yourself, like self, listen, hey, we're doing something productive, we're practicing, we're improving our skills, we're not watching TV. This could generate money in the future. It does for lots of people, why not? This is productive. It may seem ridiculous, but as long as you continue, you will see results build. And at some point, you gain momentum and it starts working out and you will be so excited. Now do this. If you want to make more passive income, click and watch the video on the screen right now. It'll help you do just that. And when you do, you're going to feed a poodle. I've got two poodles and they're hungry. You dig?